So in this particular exercise, we're being asked, uh, this is has just the purpose of showing you how how you can do something little in React. Like it's just the first, it's like a hello world. Here you have, when you're using React, you're using NPM as package manager and you're using Webpack as well. There's, that's a whole different thing that you should at least watch a video about it so you can understand what you're doing here. But the first line here we're doing is we're importing React from the React library. So this is a package that comes from NPM. So when you look for NPM React, you will see the package. This is the library that you can download every time you want to use React. Here, this example usage is different because they use the required uh, instead of the import. We use import here, but it's the same thing. They come from different schools and different approaches, but they have the same purpose. That's basically importing React into your project for that, so that then you can start using React features. Then you import the React DOM, because in this particular case, we're going to be doing React DOM but render here at the end, and that's where every, all the magic happens. Because what React will do is that you, you have a website that doesn't have React, like you have a DOM element, like a, like a div right here, like this div here. So when you have a div, I say this div because this is an ID of a div. I can show you, I think it's better if I built, you're gonna see it better. If I show you the source code, you're gonna see here a div, here it is. This div here is where everything is happening. Like React will grab the element by the ID, my div, that in this case is this one, and it will grab, it will say react-dom.render whatever output the user wants to do on my div. So look, it says document.querySelector, this is classic JS, no React at all. It's saying grab the element with the ID my div, and then on that element I want you to render this output, like this HTML here, this here. If you don't have React, it's very similar to the code. Like if you don't have React, it will be it will be my div dot inner HTML equals to an output. But then output, you will have to put in quotes, like this, in quotes, because it's a string. So this will work in, in normal plain HTML. Like you will be adding all this code into the inner HTML of this div. So the inner HTML is, is what goes between the tags, so in the middle here. Inside the opening tag and the closing tag, that's where it's going to be put. With React, or not with React, with JSX, the first advantage is that we don't need to put the quotes anymore. We can just ignore the quotes, and we will assume that it's quotes. And that's good for developers because it now you can highlight in blue the span and everything. You should know in your heart that it, that's still a string. Even though it's not, it doesn't look like it, it is still a string. But thanks to JSX, that is a feature from the React library, we can now type it without putting quotes at the beginning and at the end. So that output, we can put in the inner HTML by saying react dom dot render. So that's the beginning of every React application. You should do this only once in an application. You could do it several times, but that's not the common case. The common case is that you have one, like you can call it like an entry uh, element. This is our, this div here is our entry element. And here's where, gonna, where we are going to be putting the my div. Uh, the content that we want in, inside of that one. So in this case, we're putting this output. The exercise here is trying to explain everything that I just said. And then in the end, it's saying instructions. Open the hello world in this uh, .js file and take some time to understand it. Then change the variable output to, so I got to wrap it in the 12. I got to wrap it in strong tags like this. So it's going to look, let me build it. If we compare the previous one with this one, here it says James is 12 years old, here it says the same, but the years 12 years is in bold. I think I did it wrong because it's supposed to be only the 12 and not the years like that. Yeah, so now if I test it,